All right, guys, so I love a good old-fashioned leftist woke meltdown. And boy, oh boy, oh boy, do we have one here today, okay? As this individual who happens to be transgender, I believe that this individual is a transgender woman, okay? Because apparently, uh, if you misgender this person, if, if you, you know, call him a he or a man or whatever, they're going to lose their mind, right? They're absolutely going to go crazy okay which is exactly what happens in this video right here uh where you have this employee at this restaurant uh you know make the mistake of thinking that this person is a man and, and calls him he and this person can't handle it <laughs> so how further ado let's get into it here uh, it's like every single day you guys and this is why i complain about all the time look what's what's his name what's your name, My name alex is Tommy. Yeah, your name's Alex, and I'm going to be telling your manager, this guy called me sir. I get this time is every f***ing day. Everywhere I go, I get called sir. I'm so f***ing tired. Why would you call a chick? Big ass Why would you call? I didn't say No, stop trying to gaslight. Well, I'm going to tell you something. I believe this this is a, a biological man, okay? No homo here. But those aren't big, you know, whatevers. They aren't that big, right? They aren't so big that, you know, people would... Just be like, oh, this this has to be a woman. Like, it's not clear whether or not, you know, you got estrogen, okay? Which I think that's what happens when you start taking estrogen. You start growing breasts like that, <laughs> right? Um, or maybe you have gynecomastia, which is a condition that men have in which, you know, they have more fat tissue in their breasts than they should. And it looks like female breasts sometimes. Again, you can be a dude with gynecomastia, right? Just because you're growing breasts... That doesn't automatically mean that people are supposed to recognize you as a woman, especially when the rest of your features <laughs> suggest that, you know, you might be a man and people make honest mistakes, right? I think that this is an honest mistake, right? Honest mistake. These people can't grasp the idea that, hey, you know, when people first see you, it's not going to be possible for people to know your pronouns, right? Especially how some of these people uh, change their pronouns on a daily basis, right? Some on an hourly basis. So again, who knows, bro? Who knows? Like trans people and tell us that we're crazy. I crazy. Didn't. You need to be mindful of other people and stop so. being a scumbag and you're a liar. I heard you. Stop gaslighting trans people. Wait, what? Did you call me sir again? What was that? You said goodnight, <laughs> sir? Alex, I'm gonna be talking to corporate about you, you mother Okay? Oh my God. That's bull Yo. You don't harass trans people at work. Yeah, you did. And I'm walking out and you're like, have a good night, sir. Well, what the f yeah. No, you don't <laughs> do this to trans people. This is discrimination. I didn't say no, this is discrimination. I'm done with it. It's discrimination. It's discrimination. Because he called his person sir. <laughs> right? It's discrimination. This is what they say. Are they denying your right to eat? <laughs> right? Uh, no. Okay. Um. Uh, are they saying that you can't come in a restaurant because of your, your gender or, you know, the fact that you identify as trans? No. Uh, they're still serving you food. They're still giving you service. This person probably accidentally misgendered this person, you know? And I think that this person, <laughs> I don't know if this person uses this person wrong name on purpose, but it's like, I, I don't understand why people get so upset about this, especially when, again, you are a transgender person. You know, I, I feel like this. I don't get mad when people get my last name wrong, okay, or get my first name wrong. People always get my first name, which is Greg, mixed up with George. They call me George because Foreman is my last name, and people know George Foreman, right? Now, my barber, just yesterday, he called me Mr. Freeman, <laughs> right? Now, he's been doing that for weeks now, okay, and I never corrected him because at the end of the day, I don't care that much, right? Like, I know what he means. I know what he's trying to say. Oh, he doesn't know my last name or whatever, and I should correct him, but... I will never get upset if, if somebody doesn't, you know, know my name or pronounces my name incorrectly or whatever, right? It, it is an accident. Now, I have this one friend, <laughs> right, who happens to be a girl, who happens to be a uh, lesbian, okay? Uh, she does this thing where she um, she says, hey, girl, <laughs> right? Now, I do correct her on that. I do say, look, come on now. I'm not one of your girlfriends, right? <laughs> I, I'm clearly a, a man. Come on now. But do I get bit out of shape because she does that? She, I think she does that as a joke to troll my, my viewpoints, right? She knows I have more conservative viewpoints on this subject. So I think she does that to troll. But I don't get mad and upset and throw a fit just because somebody 
gets my name wrong or you know misgenders me <laughs> right um again it's just it's just fascinating right and hilarious to see these people just lose their minds over little things like this no i'm gonna talk to corporate about this you don't harass trans people hey you know it's one of the stupid things get when you're catching karens I didn't even say nothing you call me sir and you're talking you call me sir the this is transphobic <laughs> harassment oh you're a Bigot! Oh my I work. God. All right, Alex. You know what? I, I can't wait to just. He admits twice calling me sir. No, he lied about the first one. No, you called me sir twice. You said he twice. Said yeah, but you shouldn't be harassing but people with slurs. It's a slur. Do you not understand? Slur. It's a slur, bro. It's a hate. It's bigotry. <laughs> Anything these people don't agree with is hate, bigotry, and a slur. And they're gonna melt down and cry and whine about it. Amazing. Amazing. Again, I can kind of see why the, some people are afraid to stand up to this, okay? Because this is what you got to deal with. This is what you got to deal with. I if never you, said sir. It's like if you call the person I that call her the N-word. Don't <laughs> You did on the way out. I don't I care. Never, I, never I have the right to be pissed about it. No, you don't. <laughs> you have the right to be pissed. But, you know, I, I, I think that this is too much. I think that you should take your anger elsewhere, right? Take your anger elsewhere. People are not obligated to adhere to your worldview, right? Especially when your worldview is not grounded in reality, people are not obligated to go along with this. I don't understand. You f did. I said I'll lock the door. You, f you liar, and I'm gonna hold you accountable. People, <laughs> cis people need to be held accountable cis for how they treat trans people, and I'm not gonna put up with this anymore. You're crazy, bro. You're. F don't <laughs> call me, f bro. <laughs> You're crazy, bro. <laughs> I would've, I would've said, yo, yo, I would have said the same thing. I would have said the same thing, bro. You're out of your mind. You're loco, right? You're loco. Stop fucking throwing slurs at me, you <laughs> piece of <laughs> No, <laughs> I ain't your sis. I'm your bro. You don't even know me. Oh, you want to flash gang signs at me? All right, all right, all right. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, this might be one of the wildest videos I've seen in my life. Bro is throwing up gang signs. Bro is throwing up gang signs in response to an attack from this woke transgender woman, right? <laughs> Bro, I've never seen anything like this. This might be the wildest video I've ever seen in my life. Wow. Oh, suck. Do you want to talk about sucking? Why is it that you Weird since people are so obsessed with sex. <laughs> you have <laughs> discrimination going on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on now. You people are the ones that's obsessed with sex, okay? All y'all want to talk about is sex. We trying to get away from that. We're trying to get away from making sex mainstream, okay? But <laughs> the woke gender movement, <laughs> right, um, has made sex mainstream. All they want to talk about is sex, okay? All they want to talk about is genitalia and how they don't like their genitalia. So don't sit here and try to accuse the cis people which by the way right is a slur in my opinion right if misgendering is a slur cis is a slur right that's a slur too uh so-called cis people um uh, are not obsessed with sex right you and your brain goes to fucking dick sucking don't fucking call me sir this is this is transphobia right here at the you store, okay? yeah you know you heard last me what the fuck fuck you Yo, that was super wild, bro. That was super wild. Again, this is the tolerant left, right? This is their definition of tolerance here, okay? So the next step, right? The next step after this, you guys know how it go. You accuse somebody of racism or bigotry. Oh, my feelings are hurt. And then, uh, you know, you start protesting. You do type of stuff like this. And then the next uh, step is violence, right? The next step is violence. That's the pipeline for these people, okay? When they can't get their way. Okay, just because society doesn't want to go along with their made-up reality. Again, it's ridiculous. Right? It really is. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.